Hello, we are at Mount of Olives and this is a Jewish cemetery from our days. But before we will talk about that, let's enter to Dominus Flavid because I think they are going to close the gate in about two or three minutes. Uh, why we are entering to the place that Jesus wept? Mainly because when the Franciscans excavated, they found uh, uh, tombs from uh, the time of Jesus. What the police cars are doing today, it's Palm Sunday procession. I think they are organizing themselves before. What's your name? And I follow them, that's your name. Huh? Ah, it's not your name? Who is it? Your name is not your name? No. So, who is it? Ah, okay. Then, before they will close the gate. That's all right. I'm going to go back here. Right here. I know that you're closing it. Then they found tombs from the time of Jesus. They let me describe it for you and then we will go out because he's closing now the gate. This is a rock cut cave. Belongs to rich Jews who could afford themselves there. Uh, poor Jews um, doing it. Uh, just bury themselves in the ground. Look at the niches. They have one, two, three, and there's a four one here, but it was more. The upper part of the cave been destroyed. Then they used to put the niche, uh, the body there after they purified it. And usually at the same day that he died, according to the Jewish law. And then um, they used to close the cave uh, with a rolling stone, which is missing here. What will happen to the fifth body? He will be buried... Uh, they will take the bones out of the oldest uh, uh, dead and they will put it in the small box like that. It's an osary. You can see that the small one is of a child and uh, the bigger one. The, most of them are decorated because we are talking about rich people. And um, you can see that it's not the only one. Dominus Flavit is when, where Jesus saw the city and wept. But you can see that there are more caves here. Why did you, why there are cemeteries in that area? Because the Jews have uh, never been buried inside the city. And this is outside the city of Jerusalem. In that place, they found a lot of uh, Jewish names, uh, like Joseph, Maria, even Jesus. Uh, but those are common names. And just on the last moment, thank you very much. See, that group couldn't enter because it was too late for them. We did it! We did it! Then, let us go to the modern Jewish um, yes. cemetery. But before that, let me show you a tomb from the first century. You can see, you can see there... Um, the kind of a dome, a pyramid top. This is a pyramid top, it's called the Nefesh, the soul of Absalom tomb from the time of King uh, David, the son of King David. But let us enter to the Jewish cemetery. I'm not going to the gym tonight. Yay! Then, when the Jew dies, he's been buried at the same day. My mother died August, one and a half year ago. Oh, and uh, they bury her at the same day. Day ends at sunset. Then today it's Sunday at 7 p.m. It's going to be already Monday. If you remember, Jesus was buried in the same day as well. Um, then my mother died around 5 a.m. She was buried around 4 p.m. before sunset. Uh, in Israel now, it's for free unless you wanted to be buried next to someone like your husband or if you want to bury here at Mount of Olives 
because this is really something special and soon you will understand why but you do it for free uh, at the ancient time you used to dig a hole if you were a poor a poor Jew and that's it you used to mark it with stones to remember where to go back uh, for the memorial service and as look at the stone, tombstones people are marking it with the uh, stones they still remember well, they are still working with the same system they are putting another stone on top of the tombstone today it's there's another reason uh, it's another stone for the future Jewish temple that was right there. Then to be buried here is so important. First of all, because it's the oldest Jewish cemetery from the time of King David, 3,000 years ago. But more than that, it's uh, uh, when the Jewish Messiah will come, and he's not Jesus, there will be the first one who will, who will resurrect it. And if you want to be the first man, you have to pay a lot of money for that. Usually there's a tomb uh, of a man and next to it, or his wife, or another man. Even when you're dying, you cannot die together with men and women together. And there's a lot of um, inscriptions about it. Let's look for someone without stones, without a lot of will be easier for me to read it. Let me see if I can read it. All right, here he's buried. A very important woman. She is the woman and the leader of our family. Her name is Miss Fega or Mrs. Fega. She is the son of that's Fega, Yosef Alevi Frank, and. Uh, and she was very loyal to him. She helped him a lot. Let me go backward. She, she, we, she have, she has, she had. Oh, I'm falling. Lots of good uh, family. She left here a big family and uh, everyone will pray for her and this is the day that she actually died next to her it's her husband Yaakov Tzvi Mendel there is a service there you can see the Hasidis I don't like me oh, but I don't like I'm, what I'm doing now but it's not so close to them, then it's okay. They're praying it may be one of the family member or even one of uh, uh, a rabbi, a very important rabbi. What you can see here is the Dome of the Rock decided that Muhammad ascended into heaven, but according to the Jews, this is, is um, uh, th that was the Jewish temple. Behind it, there are two domes. It's the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. Then, my friend, that's me, and please uh, subscribe to my channel. Now we know, I think you know a little bit better about what's happened here to Jesus and about Judaism. And uh, see you in my next video. Bye bye.